the validation workshop on Carbon Net Zero 2050 Roadmap and Strategic Plan organized by the Ministry of Environment in collaboration with the United Nations Development Program of Sri Lanka took place in Colombo today. Sri Lanka has made significant strides in expanding its renewable energy capacity. The government has implemented policies and in incentives to promote the development of solar, wind and hydroelectric power projects. We have been actively encouraging the use of solar energy. The Surya Palasangrana program aims to install rooftop solar panels on houses and promote the use of solar power in industries and commercial buildings. This initiative has not only reduced carbon emissions, but has also empowered communities to generate their own clean energy. Under the purview of excellency, we are planning to implement interna the International University of Climate Change, which will be a key milestone in the global climate change agenda. The workshop entailed in-depth discussion into the Carbon Net Zero 2050 Roadmap and strategic plan for the energy, transport, agriculture, waste, industry and forestry sector as well. As we all know, we have uh, certain pledges. One is nationally determined contributions and then we have pledged that Sri Lanka would be net zero by 2050 and then we have pledged 32% of forest cover by 2030. Also we have targeted 70% of electricity generation to be from renewable resources. For this task, one thing we need to have a good roadmap. From now onwards, as a country, like in any area, in development, in sustainable development, in net zero, any area, we need to embrace the global situation, global change. And we had to get the support from friendly countries, organizations, UN system and other systems. We are soliciting, uh, since recently, we are soliciting support from GGGI and UNDP on carbon. But we would like to, I think, uh, bring the attention of the government that we can't get away with uh, the, the carbon tax. I think number one is climate literacy, so therefore people must know uh, what we are doing. The UN resident representative stressed on climate literacy. As a small but important part of our work, they launched last week of the pilot phase of converting tuk-tuks to electric tuk-tuks. I really want to appreciate and thank the Minister of Environment for driving the 2050 Carbon Net Zero Roadmap development process. And the Climate Change Secretariat, I really wanted to emphasize this uh, the underlying importance of, of climate literacy for the government to keep setting the necessary policy and a conducive policy environment to support incentives for the whole society. The validation workshop on Carbon Net Zero 2050 Roadmap and Strategic Plan was supported by the UNDP.